Thank you, Goose. Now it's time to spin Jitsu away through Lego Ninjago Shadow of Ronin. Dark Samurai Ronin is planning something sinister. He's stolen our hero's memories. It's your job to help retrieve those memories and their obsidian weapons and save the day. Yes, and like most LEGO games, there are a few playable characters, each with their own special skills. Along with the whirlwind Spinjitsu Tornado, each of the four main ninjas has a different elemental power. That's right. Kai can shoot fire, Jay can send out lightning strikes, Cole conjures boulders from the earth. It's all pretty nifty. Oh, best of all, their leader is a robot! <laughs> Zane commands the element of ice and is the only character who can swim, making him most useful. Um, Darren, Zane isn't the leader of anything Sensei Wu is. These are the students you told me about? Yeah, Zane is just a regular ninja. <laughs> Don't be silly. As a robot, his superior skills and chassis would make him the only logical choice for a leader. Like with the three of us. <coughs> <laughs> um, Darren, I think you'll find that we don't have a leader. We're an equal team working together. Yeah, we're a team. Mm. Uh, let's discuss this later. Right, OK. Well, speaking of teamwork, you'll need to use problem solving and a lot of teamwork to get through these puzzles. I need to pull that platform, but I need someone with a grappling hook. Nailed it. Hex, I thought this game felt impressively fleshed out for a handheld title. Yeah, it does. It felt very similar to some of the bigger LEGO games we get on console. Mm, affirmative. Uh, while the actual maps aren't as expansive and the levels are rather short, the similarities make it feel like a rather complete experience. Yeah, and there's still lots of little achievements and collectibles to go back and try for, which extends the game's length. The combat leaves a little bit to be desired, though. Yeah. Using your spin jitsu is essentially an automatic win against enemy grunts. And the small number of boss fights are only mildly challenging. There's one thing I found really disappointing, you guys. And that's when you obtain the supposedly super powerful obsidian weapons, it makes no discernible difference to your power in battle. Yeah, I thought I'd get to learn a new move or something, but no, it's just the same. Disappointing. Mm. Aside from the combat, though, there's also some flying, driving and platforming sections. And these mix up the gameplay nicely. I found the platforming pretty floaty, though. Yeah, me too. Sometimes it takes a few goes just for simple jumps. Seems a bit silly. Mm. Overall, though, I think the game rocks along at a pretty good pace. Areas are varied, puzzles are snappy, and overall the difficulty is quite low, so it never felt tedious or too repetitive. This game sticks pretty closely to that tried and tested LEGO formula, which is great. It's a great formula. It works well. But guys, I'm just starting to get a bit tired of it. It's starting to feel all the same to me. I disagree. I think this game has enough variety and pace to keep it really fun. One thing I didn't like, though, was the dialogue. Oh. The humour in the LEGO games have always been a bit slapstick in a charming way. But this was just sarcastic and a little bit mean. Worry not, young Jay. You have been in far more dangerous locations than this. OK, well, I'll just draw some comfort from those memories, shall I? Oh, that's right. I don't have them anymore. It's time for some scores, you two. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to give this two and a half out of five stars. Hmm, I think I enjoyed it a little bit more than you. I'm giving it three out of five. Now, I shall depart like a ninja in the darkest night. Oh, I've got a Darren report to find. OK. Oh. On I go. You'll never see me. Oh, stealthy. So, so stealthy, Darren. Where could I be? Am I over here? I can Am see I over you. there? You're over there. Wherever could Wherever I be? Could I be? He wasn't very stealthy at all. Master of disguise. Oh,